So the first lot of exercises that we're going to do are body weight based on resistance. We're going to do squats to start with and I'm going to give you three different options based on your level, going from a beginner, moving to slightly more advanced and then you've got more athletic. The first level that we're going to do is beginner which will be squatting down to your chair. So make sure your hands are either in front or across your chest. Squatting down, pushing your bottom out backwards as if you're sitting on the chair, tap the chair and step back up. Repeat that 10 times. You'll then get a 10 to 15 second rest and you'll go again. You'll do that four times doing a total of 40 squats. The next level, moving away from your chair, is simply going deeper. So squat down if you're able to go to the level of your knees or deeper again, continue to do so. 10 times for that level, which is intermediate. Next level, place your hands behind your head and continue to squat as deep as you can. Repeat that again 10 times, 10 to 15 second rest and go four times in total. So you'll do 40 squats with 10 to 15 second rest in between each 10 exercises. The second set of exercises that we're going to do are lunges. Again, we'll present you with three different options based on your level. The first level for a lunge is keeping your legs split apart, making sure that they are in line with your hips. Hands on hips and extend down so that you've got both knees at a nice 90 degree angle and back up again. Make sure that you squeeze all your muscles when you get up to the top. Repeat that 10 times for each leg. The next level, so the intermediate level, will be making sure that your knee touches the floor and back up again. Again, you repeat that 10 times for each leg. The final level is what's called a Bulgarian lunge and you will put your back leg up on the chair. If you've got a chair with wheels, make sure for safety purposes that you put it up against a wall or up against the desk. So putting your right leg back, toe up on the chair, trying to keep your hips in line, lunge down and up again. Again, repeat that 10 times for each leg. So the third exercise that we're going to do in our strength program is a push-up. We're going to do three levels again, beginning with beginner, intermediate, and then moving on to a more advanced level, depending on where you're at. The first one is a wall push-up, which is really good for people that might have shoulder injuries or are new to push-ups. So placing your hands shoulder width apart on the wall, make sure that you're at a nice angle and butt and back are all in line and move yourself towards the wall and back up again. You repeat that 10 times. Again, you'll have a 10 to 15 second rest and you'll go again four times. So again, in total, you're doing 40 push-ups. The next level intermediate would be against a desk as long as you've got it secure against a wall if it's got wheels or as long as it's secure or the back of a chair. Same thing, you would have arms shoulder width apart extending the body so that you're all in line and bring your chest down to either the desk or the chair depending on what item you're using. You'll do that 10 times again as well, times four. Two more set, uh, advanced ones that you could do are on the floor with your knees. So again, shoulder width apart on your knees, making sure that shoulder, back and bottom are all in line with hips, moving down chest to floor and up again. Repeat that 10 times. And the final level that we'll do today is a full push up. Making sure that you've got back, tummy and hips all in line. And you'll repeat that 10 times. Depending on what level you do, you'll still do 10 exercises, rest for 10 to 15 seconds and go again four times, total of 40 push ups. The fourth exercise that we're going to do today with regarding to your strength program are dips which will be working the triceps or back of your arms. Again we'll go through three different levels so that you can start and progress through wherever you're comfortable. The first one is you'll place your arms, hands on the back of the chair making sure that your back and bottom are in line. Keep your knees bent and make sure you're at a nice right angle. Squat down and up again. You'll do 10 of those and then you'll do have a 10 to 15 second rest and you'll go repeat that four times. Again, 40 in total dips. The next level, extend and straighten the legs, 
makes it a little bit harder. You'll be using more of your body weight. Repeat that 10 times. The final level, if you're able to do it, is to get your legs up on another object. So if you've got another chair, preferably not with wheels, put your legs up on that and then you'll be able to dip yourself down and that will be the final level. Again, repeating all of those 10 times with a 10 to 15 second rest for a total of four sets. The final exercise that we're going to do in our strength program is called the plank, which is going to activate your core. So we're going to give you three different levels and you can also increase each of those levels before you progress to the next one by increasing the time that you hold the plank for. To start with, we would aim for a 15 to 30 second hold, then move to a 30 to 45 seconds and then you can go from 45 seconds to a minute. The first level is onto your knees and elbows. You want to make sure that you have a straight line between your shoulders, back and hips so that you're not sagging through the belly button and the lower back and you're not sticking up where you won't be activating enough of your core. So keep it nice and straight and hold that for whichever time that you've selected. The next level will be up on your toes and hands. Again, making sure that we're not sagging down or sticking up. We'll hold that for again, either the 15 to 30, 30 to 45 or 45 to a minute. Next level, down on your elbows. Same thing at this level, it's really easy to calm down into sagging onto your lower back or sticking up too much. So make sure that you've got a nice straight line and if you'd like to make it harder than this, you can put one foot up. So same thing, you can also make it harder by going either 15 to 30, 30 to 45, or 45 to a minute. And that's it.